everyone my name is Bright and welcome back to the channel today I just want to do a little very kind of smallish review because all my audio has been fucking up on all my other videos as of the past two days but anyway on uh, Fallout 76 because I've been hearing a lot of ups a lot of downs and I want to uh, address some for being a a Fallout fan but be also a Bethesda fan because I also like you know Skyrim and Doom and everything else they make and, uh, and just see in general is what my expect expectations was to what the reality is. So, a little good, a little bad in this one, but <clears throat> stick tuned, stay tuned. First thing, it's a multiplayer Fallout, and so instantly, back when I heard about this, I got ecstatic. I mean, I was up through the fucking roof. A multiplayer Fallout, finally. You know, I was like, yes, I need this in my life. I need these things. And so, of course, you know, here it is, and this glory and all that is good. And people have been shitting on it quite a bit, and personally, I've been enjoying the game. Me, my buddy Ethan, my buddy Jordan, we've all been just rummaging through the wastelands and doing all the stuff that you gotta do and collecting all those hollow tapes. which I know everyone's like, oh, but there's no NPCs, so, like, why even, you know, bother trying to, uh play the game and there's no NPCs to walk around because I don't think we I need an NPC to walk around I just need my buddy to my left my buddy to my right and we're good to go and it's just such a good time because you know we're just fighting off ghouls having moments and the best part is that there's a picture mode a photo mode that I've been using for about a good 12 to 14 pictures now and they have came out like phenomenal check this out like my like these are like I love these like the first time coming through coming out of the vault all, me, my buddy Jordan's on the left, my e buddy Ethan's on the right. We're just like, first time they got out of the vault with me. You know, we're all thumbs up, having a good time. Put a little board on there. When we went to Charleston, they're fighting some type of whatever over there. I thought to take a picture because there was a nice view. Uh, we were in a band at one point. You know, like, I love it. So I found someone's little shack. So I was like, you know what? This is a cute shack. I'm going to take a picture of it. So I took a picture of it up on top of the mountaintop and also, also on top of one of the mountaintops at Pleasant Valley. It's just an amazing, fun game. It is the multiplayer Fallout that I wanted. Am I bummed about, yes, I need some NPCs in my life? Yes, I'm a little bit bummed about it. But the hollow tapes, if you listen to them and actually listen to them, not just like, oh, I'm just going to let it play. This is part of the story, you know? You know, I'm just gonna get out of the way. Then you're not gonna enjoy the game for from its base core, the core of what it is. Do the frame rates drop sometimes? Yes, they do. I'm not gonna tell you they don't. But this game could use polish, like a nice, nice polish over to help out. You know, the rendering and all that. And but after that, I'm sure it'll be this fantastic game because a lot of um, one of the missions called uh, Fire Starters. Spoiler alerts if you are playing and you have not done this. Uh, it's like you can do. Uh, you fight the scorch through this deep mine. And it was for uh, getting the fire starter, you know, title to your person, which is cool. And the robots were really cool too, and they felt like actually sincere robots. I know, it sounds crazy. But the robots that were training you to do uh, these things, you know, you had to take a physical exam, you had to take a, uh, a paper exam. Well, more like a computer exam. But, you know, you know, you have to take all these exams, and then you finally get inside the mine where you have to go down, touch the activation beak, and come back up. And what happens is that I found a holotape next to a person near, right in the beginning, and it was a people that were doing it before. And, you know, and like finding the holotapes, all the holotapes in the area is going down into the mine while fighting the score. It's trying to stay alive. It's hard to hit the, act, uh, the emer emergency beacon at the bottom and come back up. It was just, in generally, a really great way. Like, the voice acting for those holotapes are fantastic. You just have to listen to them. You do have to read things. You have to, like, acknowledge and understand the things. Because if you just think it... If you take the holotapes as white noise, you're not going to enjoy the game. You're not going to enjoy the game at its base value. And I personally have been enjoying it. And a multiplayer Fallout, who doesn't want? You know? It's been, it's been great. I've been having a good time. Life has been great. I just... You know, and of course, like, there's conditioning back at your weapons again, and I know everyone's gonna go, aww, conditioning? That's shitty. Boo. But that keeps you grinding to get more material, keep your eye out for more things. And I just so, ex like, that's good. I like that part of the grind. The grind, there's not really much of a grind to the game, besides, you know, leveling up and get, you know, getting your stuff that you want. But the little bit of grind that there is, I firmly enjoy. I'm having a good time with it. The base building is fantastic, way better than Fallout 4's. And it snaps together nice and smoothly. I already made, like, a whole house with, like, turrets and defense systems. All my crafting stuff is inside, a bed, you know? Having a good time. And I, I generally feel like this is the Fallout game I wanted. And I know everyone's like, but 
what about no NPCs? You know, what about this? And I know I'm going to get a little bit of criticism on this video, so bear with me. But I generally enjoy. Is it more lonely when you have no one on? Yes, I would say for sure. But there's always a mission you can do. They put literally probably hundreds of missions for you to go roam and explore. Like the miscellaneous missions even have like voice acting and things like that with the hollow tapes. You really have to go and listen all the way. You can't just like half ass it. You can't just partially ass it. And honestly, with friends, a Fallout experience that I've always been waiting for, I know, little biased opinion, is amazing. I'm always having a good time on this game. I don't know if anyone else is, may or may not have been having a good time on this game, but for me, this game is its hits, and I have been enjoying it. So, to everyone that's like, oh, Fallout 76 is going to be trash and everything, really, give it a shot. Give it a shot and see how you feel. You know, I definitely have been enjoying my time. And, of course, I have Re uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, which is also a really good game, great game by Rockstar, and, you know, things like that, but... I also very much, I enjoy that game a lot, and I very much enjoy this game as well. So, I just enjoy it all, and just a retrospect, but I know, not everyone's going to enjoy it, not everyone's going to be like, oh yeah, this is great. If me and people on the wasteland, there's only one or two things I want to like talk about on the negative side. There is combat PvP in the game, but what you got to do, if someone shoots you, then you shoot back, you initiate the PvP, which is kind of good, but kind of bad. Here's why. Let's say, you know, they get to really, like, attacking people, getting their stuff kind of deal. If you're alone in the game, I can understand. I can completely understand where you're coming from. They might just ransack you, a team of four, and then you're dead. Luckily, guns don't do that much damage if you don't initiate back, but as soon as you initiate back, that's when the fighting starts, which is good. I want that threat, I want that kind of threat level experience that I've been always looking for. But also, um, but there is a passive mode turn on, passive mode turn off button. They can kind of just do away with, you know, the uh, activation of the PvP. But um, I feel like you should just, you know, if you want to fight and get in PvP combat, turn it off. And if you want to, you know, you want to don't want to fight and you want to, you know, just explore with your friends and things like that, turn the passive switch on, you know, but no harm. I won't be no foul. There are people that have been struggling in the wastelands and I personally have been trying to help a little bit on the side, but it's been, it's been an amazing game. Amazing moments have happened. I love the photo mode. I can do all my cool things on the photo mode on top of enjoy a lot of other stuff. So it, it may just be me. But I have been thoroughly enjoying this game. And the monsters and the enemies are everywhere. Every turn you turn, there could be a ghoul, there could be could be a, uh, a scorcher, there could be a, a mole rat. And in the forest, which gave us a big jump scare at one point. Thank you, Bethesda. Thank you, all whole almighty. There is two, not one, but two death claws came and destroyed our shit. And it was an amazing moment because normally you would have nobody be like, oh, by the way, there's a fucking Deathclaw. No, I was looting some things from a, from a super mutant, and my buddy George was like, Deathclaw! I was like, what? And I turned, and as soon as I turned, I got smacked in the face with a claw. He's like, Deathclaw, what? Smack! And like, half my health gone. And it was very terrifying, but we did, we killed it. Look, but the second Deathclaw we didn't see came at us. And the, you know, Deathclaws are like a tannish greenish, okay? It was there like a tannish greenish and so they would blend into the fucking environment so well I would lose track of where they are and they would repop up. It's that scary it's, it's so but it's so good. I don't care what anyone says You know, I'll make this video because I just feel like you know, it needs to be addressed. Does it need polish? Yes. Does it need some little bit of work? Yes. Does it need you know what it needs to be? Absolutely needs some work, but I think it has a really well round base frame of could be an amazing mind blowing game. We shall see what Bethesda does. They're, they're ball, <laughs> the ball's in their court. That is for damn sure. But I personally have been enjoying my time immensely. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm just going to leave that off here. If you have any likes or concerns, I might do another video. If you have any comments down below, if you really want to talk more in depth about some things, because I kind of be covered bases general, let me know. Like and comment down below. But if you're new, subscribe. But you know what they say. Stay awesome until next time. This is B Brad and all of you out there. Signing off for now.